Hi guys, and welcome to today's task. For today's task, we're gonna be doing another video that I have never ever done or even done anything remotely close to it before. We are gonna be replacing brakes. Brake time, huh? Brake time. But this time it's gonna be on my four-wheeler. I was taking my tracks off, which I have a video about how to put them on uh, that I will link in the description down below. And I was putting my tires back on for the summer season and I looked at my brake pads and they were completely worn down to the metal. If you look closely, you can see that I'm actually wearing into the steel backing of this uh, brake pad. And that's no good, so they definitely have to go. I have a trip coming up to Moab, Utah, and when you're there, you're on the rocks, and you definitely need good, working, functioning brakes. The funny thing is, is with the four-wheelers and the way they're built, you honestly don't feel like your brakes are bad, and I didn't hear it either, so I'm kind of surprised that they got that worn down, but looking at it, it's just something that since I got the tires like halfway off, I'm just gonna finish the job and uh, swap the brakes before the season starts. First things first, jack up the front end of your four-wheeler. Yesterday when I started putting these tires back on, I left the front tires very loose so that I could just get in quickly and do the brakes. So there's not gonna be much tension under these nuts. Yesterday, I took the brake caliper off and took the brake pads off, so there's nothing on here, but I bolted it back just so it would stay stationary uh, for the meantime. You'll need a 15 millimeter wrench, at least for the Sportsman 850s, to undo these bolts. And you'll want to turn it the right way. And there we have our entire brake caliper setup. So I've gone ahead and put my brake pads back on my caliper. So you can kind of see these um, brake pads work on the same kind of a brake piston and hydraulic brakes as a car. So you do have to compress them back. I use a simple vise and just crank it down until it pushes that piston back. That's step number one to get these pads on and off. The second step is on the back of your caliper. On one side there's a rubber boot and the other side there is a five millimeter um, set screw that you need to undo. And you need to back it out as far as it'll go. You can even take it all the way out, but do not lose it. This is your locking mechanism to keep this system from undoing itself. Now with that five millimeter set screw gone, you can actually push this in all of the way. Without it, you can't get this all the way out. And then your pads slide off and through and simple as that, off, come on, and through. And that's how simple it is to swap these pads out. Now we'll grab our new ones. So just a comparison, that is an old one, this is a brand new one. There is nothing left of that pad, there is a whole brand new pad for this to work through. This is excellent looking. Now with that all the way compressed, we can slip on the first pad, really simple. There's the first one, and the second one. Make sure you're putting them pads facing pad. And there you have it. Then it fits and slides right over top. And I am going to put these bolts on first and then put my set screw back in. Then take our set screw and put it back in place. And that set screw will bottom out at some point and you just need to make it go to the bottom of it but I would not crank on it as hard as you can just a nice snug fit there you go tighten up these sockets you guys hopefully you see how simple and easy it is to replace these brake pads if you've got an ATV um, this is a Polaris model so it's gonna be standard 
among most Polaris models, but I think uh, a lot of manufacturers with disc brakes are gonna be really, really similar because it's really not that different from a vehicle's disc brake system. So if you have one, you wanna do some maintenance on it, go get those brakes fixed. That's the last thing that you want going bad when you're out on the trail. So if you guys liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. First things first, jack the... Yesterday when I started putting these tires back on, I left the loop. Oh. Well, you little bugger. Boop, 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 boop. I spent so much time checking this. Stupid tripod. These things are going everywhere. Come on, wiggle loose. Oh dear. Okay. Nope, not okay. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Dang it. I gotta do something first. Dummy! Don't be an idiot like me.